It's a record 13th FA Cup win. A few better players possibly as well. Um, not one of them is this fella. Uh, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang was Arsenal's match winner in the semi-final against Manchester City. Uh, no player scored more goals in the Premier League since his debut in 2018. Uh, we did ask Arsenal if we could interview him this week, only to be told he wasn't available. Uh, doesn't stop us talking about him, though. Uh, in terms of uh, quality, Aubameyang is up there with some of the best finishers in Arsenal's history. Mind you, there's not much competition. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> uh, wonderful talent, obviously, Al Bamiyang, and um, the Gabonese international uh, will become the first African player to start an FA Cup final match as captain uh, for a football league side. Quite an achievement in. I'd say, yeah, but I think when you look at his, his goals to games um, for Arsenal, and he is everything about Arsenal at the minute. He's the kind of player that once he gets that half chance, he's taken it. Sabayos, fantastic pass. Even if, if Arsenal do lose today, God forbid, he is somebody that has to be, he will be the most important signing that Arsenal make. What do you think that might? I think I'm, I'm a he, you can't not be anything other than a huge fan of his. I mean, 68 in 108 yeah. uh, games is, is an incredible yeah. record. And if, which obviously he does, Mikel Arteta wants to get Arsenal back to where they want to be, then I think he is yeah. definitely key Absolutely. to that. Because if yeah. he goes, it costs an absolute fortune to, <laughs> to get someone yeah. in, not yeah. only the salary, but the, uh, yeah. the, the um, transfer fee as well. Uh, Al, do, do you think that's a sign then that Arsenal are going to sign more players? If he's going to sign, he must have spoke to Mikel yeah. Arteta yeah. and said, yeah. you've got to bring players in. Yeah. We're not, we can't win the league with, with this group of, of players now, yeah. so maybe that's a good sign. Yeah. Arsenal incoming yeah. new sign. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is the heads up to FA Cup final. Wits about him, but couldn't keep the ball. Great pace, wasn't it, from Maitland Niles? Twice he's got him. It's a bit of a crunch for Jorginho, who stayed down. Plenty of time in this game, despite it being nil one against the Arsenal. Good play. Flag is up for offside as Obama Young tried to find. Well, Pepe's found the net. Pepe with a super finish, but the flag had been up for an awfully long time. Obama Yang is in, so across Piliqueta's head. Then he has a problem and he has lent on Obama Yang. And Anthony Taylor saw that happening like the rest of us did. He's got the yellow card out. And it is a booking for the Chelsea captain. This is a good contest. The final itself and this kick. Obama Yang to level it. And that's what he's done. He gave Caballero absolutely no chance. Rifling home to make it Arsenal 1, Chelsea 1. Through Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's perfect penalty. What a penalty that, uh, that is. To stick that in yeah. beside net and when you're opening your foot up, as he did, is a tough skill to tough do and, and be brave as well to I have the ability to do it that. Fraction. Brilliant forward play yeah. in the run and then getting across the defender to make him yeah. commit to that foul. Left-hand side, as you can hear him shout, Obama Yang is over, the ball's behind him. Uh, he couldn't oh, shuffle it past Chris and then there's a bit of a collision, but Arsenal will carry on. It is Obama Yang and Obama Yang's body swerve gets it in the score! He is an outstanding scorer of goals. It is just what Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang does, and he's got another two today. And Arsenal have come from a goal behind to lead in the 2020 FA Cup final. Wow. What a finish. What a player. He's put it through his legs, and yet it's an unbelievable finish, but I think... Here's Aubameyang. That was an opportunity for Lacazette. It seemed as though he'd got the right. Obama Yang. Finding Obama Yang. Tepe is down injured now. Obama Yang. Because they have won the FA Cup yet again. You could both have a chat together, that's fine. Congratulations, Thank Pierre. You, as well. The best, the best. Oh. It's him. <laughs> Andy, tell us what it's like for, for you and for your family watching this game as well. Wow. I can't really talk about it. This is the best, my brother. Well for those well that done, don't man. know, let, let, me, let me speak while you compose yourself because I know you've been had six lone clubs during your time at Arsenal. It's been a long fight for you to get in this side. A decade in its entirety to get here. You're chosen for the final, and now you and your family can celebrate winning this 
FA Cup largely thanks to this man on your left hand side. If you can put it into words, we'd love uh, you to do as, it for us. I said to him before the game, you're going to win us the game <laughs> uh, because you're a captain and he did it. Um, and regarding my family, I can't talk about it. Big respect for this man, big respect. Well, we'll, we'll try and let you gather your thoughts, but let, let's speak to <laughs> Mr. Aubameyang here. Thank you. Two goals in the semi-final, <laughs> two goals in the final. What is it about this competition? Yeah, I think we, we enjoy today. We just enjoy and we are all happy, as you see. Emi is crying. That's, that shows that he's uh, really implicated in, the, in this game and in this trophy, so we are all happy. What does this say about what your manager has done? After a difficult season, nobody's happy with the league position, and yet you have secured European football for next season with this win today. Yes, I think uh, he deserves this win. Uh, I think he, he did a great job, and uh, we are all happy to, to have him on board, and we just follow him. We know you've got to go. I've got two quick questions for you. Your second goal particular, yeah. great finish. Thank Ian you. Wright was just behind the goal there. He loved it. He I'm sure it. the Arsenal fans <laughs> loved it watching as well. Right what was it like from your perspective? Yeah, it was uh, right in the 90s. <laughs> now, I think uh, Zuma know me well. I know I'm right-footed, but so that's why I said, OK, I go on the left. And yes, that's it. Ian Wright's a big Arsenal fan. There's lots watching at home as well. They all want to know about your future. What can you tell us about you and Arsenal? Nothing. Just today, trophy. That's Enjoy it. the celebration. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, if it, that is to be it, Ian, it's a great way to bow out. <laughs> wow, amazing. <laughs> amazing, uh, amazing, amazing finishes. Um, you know, from the, top, from the top man, the man that we needed. Um, he's come up with the goods. Yeah. He's come up with the goods. A quick word on the goalkeeper as well, Emiliano uh, Martinez. It's, it's, a, it's a lovely story. He's had to wait so long. He was so emotional, wasn't he? He is. He's had so many loan spells. He, he's been at the club team. And he will say a few words before taking it from his platform. If he can do it, he's got to work it out first. <laughs> the smile on his face. Plays the right way. It's more to Arsenal than any other football club. Get to grips with the FA Cup, he's maybe not done this in quite as much style as some of his predecessors, but the most famous trophy of all has its most worn ribbons on again. The red and white of Arsenal, FA Cup winners. Well, the celebrations uh, do go on, um, extraordinary times of course, nobody in the stadium and now a dropped cup as well, you just can't make it up, can you at the moment? Yeah. It's interesting because he didn't really want to talk about it at all, the player, yeah. but the manager sounded quite confident that he would stay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that he's trying to keep his, car, his cars close to his chest, but obviously him and the manager have been speaking and, yeah. and the manager, look, as confident as he looks, may know obviously more yeah. than we know, but it seems to me that, um, judging by Mikel Arteta's body language and the way he speaks, he believes he's going to stay. He said he wants to build a team around him and I hope that that happens. Yeah. If you want to keep Aubameyang, it's all good keeping youngsters, but you've got to bring some top names alongside him as well. Yeah. And he'll be expecting that as well, Aubameyang. Well, the, well, the thing I'm sure it'll be one of his um, stipulations with him staying. He will want the kind of players around him that's going to create chances for him, who are going to have the same ambition as him, wanting to win things and wanting to win things with the club. That's why. That's what I would want to do if I'm staying.